Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to go to black-cat-comics.com and pick up something fun to read. It's a big week, packed with lots of great stuff. Some of our favorite titles to talk about, like Batman Catwoman. One of the best books out there. You know we love us some Tom King around here. This is one of your black label books. Just can't say enough about this title. Been tons of fun. Incorporates a little bit of everybody's favorite uh, Batman the Animated Series. Uh, a lot of the history of the Dark Knight. All kinds of things going on in this book. Really, really, really fun. Uh, for some reason you're holding out on this, you're missing out on one of the best books been out in a long time. I know it doesn't need a lot of help from me, everybody buys everything Batman, but I'm uh, reaching out to the three people who might not be reading this book. Grab number one, grab number two, grab these, this week's issue. Really, really fun book, loving that. Truth and Justice is a new anthology book from the nice folks over at DC. Cool vixen cover there. I love anthology books. I love uh, comics that have lots of different stories, give you different characters, different creative teams, a little bit of everything, kind of a club sandwich of a comic. Good stuff. Make sure you grab that. Everybody loves first issues. And then, of course, all the Future State stuff. Future State Catwoman. These are a lot of the number twos, the last issue of a lot of these. I've been saying it's uh, fairly non-committal. So, uh, like Batman Catwoman, if you've been holding out on the Future State stuff, you're missing some really cool books. Catwoman, Immortal Wonder Woman, one of the bigger hits of the whole thing. Next Batman, probably the biggest hit of the whole thing, because, as I said, everybody loves Batman. Future State Nightwing. I always love anything Nightwing. Future State Shazam. I love anything Shazam. But the one I've been waiting to get to, Superman Worlds of War. Been loving this one. Not just for the main story, but for the backups as well. The uh, Mr. Miracle stories in here have been really awesome. Again, just a twofer. So uh, grab that first issue, grab the second one. I know some of these, like Next Batman, Superman Worlds of War, are like eight bucks. It's a bit of a commitment, but they're really good stories. Uh, I can read more about this one in the newsletter. As I say, the Future State stuff has been pretty solid across the board. So if there's any of uh, the art that looks cool or if you like the character, go ahead and grab the book. It's just a couple of issues. Try something new, fun, and exciting while you're waiting for your main DC books to come back. Great week for the Marvel guys. Going to start with some of my favorites, like Captain America number 27. You know, Cap's my all-time number one favorite guy. This book is as good as it's been in a long, long time. And as I say, as uh, every time it comes out, worth the cover price just for those Alex Ross covers. Because he is just second to none. A little more on him later. Captain America. Thor, another one of the best books Marvel does. Could go on and on about this one all day long because it's a great example of what I've been saying about a lot of Marvel books like Amazing Spider-Man and Avengers and different things. Just kind of a back-to-basics uh, core book, but this is Thor as good as he's ever been. They're not like reinventing the character. They're just giving him, uh, you know, great villains, cool things to do. Check out Thor if it's been a while. And Iron Man, number six. Same kind of thing. Kind of a back-to-basics Iron Man at his best. Uh, pick up the first issue and you'll see what I'm talking about. They're busting out some classic villains you haven't seen in a long time. Good old Tony Stark doing his thing. Very good. And Black Widow. Another fairly recent title that kind of exploded on the scene. I like Black Widow and they do all kinds of great things with their titles. That sort of super spy, superhero stuff. If you're waiting for the movie like I am, uh, pick up some Black Widow comics while you wait. And Spider-Woman might be flying under everybody's radar, but this book's been really solid. If you picked up the King and Black one, I'd really suggest you keep going. It's one of the better characters in comics. And Immortal Hulk Flatline, sort of side title for another one of my favorite books. Immortal Hulk is well, just as good as it gets. So if you're not following Immortal Hulk, try this one and see if that doesn't pull you into the main series. And now let's get on to all the other core Marvel stuff, like King and Black, number four, one of their big events that's going on, and there's all kinds of other King and Black stuff, like always, like Miles Morales' Spider-Man, a book that's on everybody's list and doesn't need a whole lot of help from me, or Savage Avengers, a book I talk about all the time, because you know I love the A-Team, and uh, getting Conan and Punisher and Deadpool in, uh, in an Avengers book is a whole lot of fun. Again, if you're uh, following the King and Black stuff, you haven't been reading Savage Avengers, good opportunity to uh, check that out and see why I'm always talking about that one. And Planet of the Symbiotes, it's your uh, fourth 
King and Black book for the week. I always say if you're following the main book of, uh, of these events, you don't have to read all this other stuff. Uh, but it's a good opportunity, if you are following the main book, it's a good opportunity to try some other titles and find something that you might like. Speaking of might like, Cable and Marauders are a couple of the more popular X-Books, always encouraging you guys to find an X-Book to get into. Marauders, New Mutants, of course the core title, X-Men, X-Force are some of the most popular, but there's all kinds of X-Books out there with different characters, different creative teams, a little something for everybody. And speaking of something for everybody, X-Men Legends, number one. Much like Truth and Justice, kind of a cool new anthology title, sort of uh, touching on all of the uh, famous and great events of X-Men eras of the past. This one obviously takes a look at some of the 1990s stuff. A lot of people love the 90s X-Men stuff. Guardians of the Galaxy and Champions are your team books for the week. Everybody loving Champions, and Marvel from the aforementioned brilliant Alex Ross. That's Marvel number five. Rounds out your Marvel books. Awesome, awesome cover there. Give you a minute to soak that in. And it's a great week for all the other guys, too. You know I love talking up some Mike Mignola and Hellboy. This is Young Hellboy. First Hellboy book we've seen in a little while. As I say, always talking up Hellboy and BPRD and Abe Sapien and Lobster Johnson and Baltimore and all the great stuff from the brilliant mind of Mike Mignola. Tons of fun there. And Barbalian, Red Planet. It's your other Dark Horse book of the week, spinning out of the uh, world of Black Hammer. Another book I'm talking up all the time. If you don't know much about Black Hammer, pick up that first uh, trade paperback and it will introduce you to an awesome, awesome universe of superhero goodness. Ha Ha is your image book of the week because everybody loves creepy clowns. Always talking up the great job image does with genre fusion. I'm not even quite sure what to call this except a book about creepy clowns that's uh, really dark and murderous. Good stuff. That and Walking Dead, the deluxe edition, your image books for the week. Yes, they're doing Walking Dead in color now. Super awesome. If you've been missing out on that, you got a few issues to catch up with. The Mighty TMNT, Last Ronin, number two. Is there a more anticipated book than Last Ronin, number two? If there is, I don't know about it. But here it is in my hand, and it can be in your hand, too. This is easily the hottest book in comics, easily the biggest book of the week. I hope this is on your list, or you're going to uh, need to get online and grab this ASAP, because they're going to go fast. Red Sonja, Price of Blood. And Vampirella Dark Powers are your Dynamite books of the week. A couple of good examples of what Dynamite does best. Always talking up Red Sonia and the awesome job they do with her books and doing all kinds of crazy things with Vampirella these days, and that's a ton of fun. Power Rangers, number four, is your Boom Studios book of the week because they've broken up the MMPR into two books, Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers. So if you're a fan of the MMPR, you're going to want to check out both of those and or decide which one's the right book for you. Savage, number one, is your Valiant book of the week. Got a few... Uh, Number ones from different publishers just in time for our small press sale. Give you an opportunity to uh, try some first issues from some new publishers. Again, Savage is a Valiant Book of the Week. Always encourage you guys to check out something Valiant like Exo, Bloodshot, Rye, the upcoming Shadow Man. Love me some Valiant. Shadow Doctor number one gives you an opportunity to see what Aftershock does. Aftershock's one of the newer publishers that we're talking up all the time because they do cool, dark, creepy stuff outside the usual superhero universes. Hollow Heart, number one, is your Vault Book of the Week, giving you an opportunity to see what Vault Comics does. Vault, along with Scout, are a couple of newer publishers that have uh, really caught on with uh, the fan base. So again, always encourage you guys to try something new, fun, different, exciting. That's a first issue from Vault Publishing. And Sabrina is your Archie book of the week. Nothing more classic than Archie comics, but they're doing all kinds of things that uh, you wouldn't expect from Archie. Everybody knows all their cool all-ages digest stuff that they still do, and it's still tons of fun, but they do all kinds of uh, new, fun, and exciting things, like Sabrina. This is the last uh, issue of this run. Grab the trade paperback and check that out, because anything Sabrina's awesome. And Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? It's your all-ages book of the week. 
always encouraging you folks to try an all ages book. Find something for uh, the younger reader in your life, like Mad Magazine. Nothing more fun than Mad Magazine. Just as awesome as it's ever been in its many, many years of hilarity. Love me some Mad Magazine. Doesn't come out that often, so whenever it does, like to uh, give it its due. Everybody should have Mad Magazine on their list, because, come on, that's Mad Magazine. Great, great stuff. want to remind you that this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, is our small press sale. All month long, we've got different publishers on sale every weekend. Uh, this is all the little guys, uh, Boom and uh, Oni and Valiant and uh, everybody that's, that's not the big two. Uh, so try something new, something fun, something exciting. 25% off. Go to black-cat-comics.com all weekend and check that out. And then next weekend is the big DC sale, and that will wrap it all up. That's all we got for you for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you this weekend.